All right, 400 yards with the Palmetto AR-10, PA-10 Gen 2. I'm a little out of breath from running down here. I'm basically running out of daylight, so I don't have time here. I gotta make these shots. I doubt I did as good as before. It seemed like I was moving a lot more just from, I actually had to extend the stock a little bit because the first one I was a little too close and it hit me, but it threw me back a little bit because it, it wasn't good in my shoulder. So I needed to extend the shot, the stock in order to get it more solidly into my shoulder so the reticle wouldn't come so much off target. Okay, check, make sure we're at 500. Yeah, 505, actually 510. Don't move up a little bit. So what I'm doing is I'm swinging my arm out in order to be able to get on the ground and still keep this thing attached to my body. So I'm just, it's basically just around my neck. This Palmetto AR-10, it's, it, it's in the fifth gas position, five of 17, locking back every time, even in that prone position. Because a lot of times when you get on the ground, uh, just the way the gun pushes up against your body can change. So it's been locking back great. Again, this is with the American Sniper, which is not my most accurate ammunition, but I'm using a red dot. And, you know, I kind of, I thought the accuracy would kind of match up with the red dot. <laughs> Since the red dot's not going to be super accurate. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at the two guns we were using at the uh, um, at the um, 500. Uh, well, just now at 400, 500. This is the Palmetto uh, PA10 Gen 3. So that's the AR10 we were using. Holosun 510C with the Vortex 6X magnifier, uh, CV Life 25 dollar bipod. It worked just great today, man. Uh, and it's also breaking in, so I can get it on and off. This thing, you know, 
uh, easy without having to use a tool. I'm just using the quick detach. Um, and that, and for the AR, I was using Radical today. Radical firearms. I've done videos on this in the past. Uh, um, it's hit one inch at 100 yards. Again, same, same uh, 510C. Right, that's your basic combat reticle, big window, red dot. And then the HM3X. I'm using a 3X magnifier on the back of that. One of the interesting things while I was shooting, and I mentioned it, uh, because of, because of this thing sticks out more, I had an eye relief issue, so I had to lengthen the stock so I can come back a little further back. Uh, because what happened is I, I, I found myself, like when I had this in my normal position, which is right there, right? I found myself like, trying to come back a little bit which took some pressure off of here uh and then that first shot at 400 it, i think it, it threw me out of the uh threw me out, out of the scope you know basically i lost track of the reticle so i just lengthened this up which allowed allowed it didn't go that far back allowed this to sit up against my chest and then i could keep the reticle on target uh through the shots so that's that's a really important learning experience today uh you know you gotta adjust your your butt stock to make sure that the gun stays in your chest all right let's go look at those targets you guys can hear the mush as i'm walking i mean my knees are covered in the friggin mud man <laughs> almost out of daylight <laughs> freaking, freaking sun is setting on me as i'm walking 500 yards all right i can't see the holes yet but i want to tell you guys what i did with the 500 you see that pole over there, the post, the two posts on either side? That's about where I wanted my hole to be. So I used the top of the post uh, as my holding point. I just moved it over to the target. Uh, so. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. So. <laughs> Let's get the tape out, baby. Oh, this is looking pretty. 400 yards with the PMC. Uh, no, this is, no, what am I saying? This is the uh, the 308 uh, American Sniper. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> We've got eight and a quarter inches. No, it's like, it's either eight and eight. The, the paper's bent, so it's either eight or eight, eight and a half, somewhere there. Guys, 400 yards with a red dot. Uh, this is with the 6X magnifier, right? House on 510C Vortex 6X magnifier. One, two, three, four, five with the 308. I think it's about 150 grain bullet. Um, so I was right on the hold because what I did here is like I, I what I did earlier is I figured out that hey, I shot this at 300 with the uh, with the with the wolf. Um, five, uh, five, five, six. Or what was it? Wolf 193. And I saw I was impacting here. And I saw when I shot the 308 at 300 with the American sniper, I was holding here and it dropped a little bit. So when I went to 400, right? Because when I was shooting the uh, the five, five, six, my my hold at 400 was right on top of the paper. So with the 308, I held a, a, about a what looked to me to be about a foot high. All right, because the 55, the uh, 150 grain or so, whatever it is, 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 is it's either 147, 149, or 150. I don't remember. Uh, I, that's dropping more. So I held about. Uh, I had my my red dot, what seemed to be about a foot high, and I got this beautiful, beautiful group here. Eight and it's probably I gotta put this on the table. It's like eight or eight and a half somewhere like that. now. 500. Oh man, 500 yards, baby. Well, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five hits on target at 500 yards. That's the top of the post there, right? So, what I did is I went up, and that was my hold point because I knew I needed it to be about that high, and I just brought it over and it just dropped them down over here. So, because at 500 yards, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm estimating the drop to be about five foot, and that's what that what it is to the top of the pole. So this is what you got to look for, you know? When you're shooting red dot 500 yards, look for a hold point that you can use and use that, you know, to hold the gun steady. Uh, look at that, man. Look at that. I got, uh, total group, 18 inches with all five shots. The four shots by themselves are 
are we 10 inches? 10 inches. We got four shots at 10 inches at 500 yards with this American sniper, <laughs> uh, cheap ass ammo that hits like 2.5 MOA. So it, it basically held that accuracy more or less out to 500 yards. So obviously, um, my hold was a little bit to the right over here. So I, yeah, so red dot trying to hold, trying to figure out where the top of the post is and try to center that o o over the paper here. I mean, yeah, we're, I mean, to get this hit, Guys, I'm ecstatic. This is one hell of a way to end this day, man. And that's where we were. We were like all the way back over there. I am absolutely loving this battle rifle, man. Fucking Palmetto, man. They sure know how to make a gun. I also credit the Hollow Sun and Vortex for the freaking optics. And and that um, that magazine. Hey, I mean, that played a role too, man. That, that uh, Lancer Clear Mag 20 round. And the CV Life Bipod. And the Brash Tactical Sling, man. Uh, let's give credit to whoever credits do here today, baby. And I suppose I played my role too, right? <laughs> there it is, baby. I'm not, I'm not putting holes here. We're going to look at this tomorrow in the daytime. We're going we're gonna to do a summary video on this.